Overload 3 press out of the nickel 335 odd formation in the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook is probably the easiest good defense you're going to find in this game because it only requires a couple of adjustments to make an absolute screaming blitz out of. And the coverage behind it is really, really good and can adapt to whatever defense or whatever offense you are facing. Now, if you want to learn more about the Nickel 335 Odd Formation, make sure that you join our school community. That is where you're going to get access to my full scheme breakdowns, offensive and defensive ebooks for both college and Madden 25. If you guys want to get better at either game, it's a great, great resource. It's only $10 to be a member, and you get unlimited access to everything on the site for just a low price of 10 bucks. So if you want to sign up, the link is going to be in the description below. Now, for our coach adjustments here, we are going to actually turn auto flip off and auto align to baseline. This is going to kind of ensure a pretty good degree of consistency with this blitz and allow us to make sure that we're getting the same result every single time. Now, I also recommend putting in fast guys at the defensive line position. I do think that it's going to help the blitz a little bit. But anyways, overload three press. So the setup for the blitz is very simple. Literally, all you're going to do, very beginner setup, is if you just hit triangle and R1 to show blitz, this will normally work. Now, there's an advanced setup that I'm going to give you in just a minute, but this setup right here, normally, you'll actually get some pretty good pressure. Now, I think there's some ad adaptive AI going on in practice mode. I'm not 100% sure, but we are getting a little bit of inconsistency in this example but normally this blitz is just going to consistently come in. Now you can actually pinch your defensive line and it can kind of create a little bit better of a blitz angle, but I'm going to show you the advanced setup. That's a little bit more foolproof and a little bit more consistent. So the advanced setup is we're still going to pinch our defensive line. The only difference is we're going to slant our defensive line inside. This is going to cause the nose tackle to engage with the center faster and craft this a gap pressure. Then what we need to do is we need to rezone that right side defensive end, and we can even shade down if we want. And what you're going to see here is now we're able to get this super good a gap pressure up the middle. We'll show it to you again that time. And again, for some reason, we're just getting a little bit of inconsistency with Creed Humphrey. I don't know if he's just being a dog or what, but we'll show it to you again here my user and there you see that's the a gap that i'm talking about very simple literally all we're doing is we're showing blitz we're slanting our d-line inside and we're just zoning this guy on the right side and normally this is going to result in some crazy crazy good a gap pressure and even if they do block it you're getting so much penetration up the middle of the defense it kind of like fixes itself if you will so I really like this blitz. I think this blitz is super fun. Uh, it's super simple to run, super simple to set up, good against the run, good against pretty much anything that they want to do. There's other versions of this that we have broken down in our school community. But in general, you can either run the simple version where you literally just show blitz and you just call it good. The one thing I would recommend is probably standing a little bit more out here if you're going to do that, trying to just trigger that center a little bit more. But in general, if that doesn't work, the more advanced setup normally will, where you slant your D-line inside, and then you're going to zone this right side lineman. And here you see, that time we came in through with the nose tackle. Sometimes it'll come with the nose tackle, and sometimes it'll come through with that, uh, with that free safety so, or that sub linebacker. So this is one of my favorite blitzes in the game right now. You get this super good rush up the middle, which is rare in, in this game. There's not a lot of great blitzes yet. And so this is just a simple, simple defense that is really good. And if they block a running back, as you see, the blitz still comes in. So this blitz requires, you know, good pass protection setups to be able to be handled. And I just think it really affords you a lot of unique opportunities to get some really cool A-gap pressure. If you guys want to check out the rest of the defense, join the school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. That's where we post all of our eBooks, all of our advanced stuff, and really just our complete library of blitzes, route combos, bombs, everything you need to get better. The link is in the description below.